Welcome to Divine Light Meditation, channeled by Ophinia and Sakal with the Family of Light. So gently settling your energy now. Feel yourself calm down a bit and slow down just a tad. Feel how you sink a little deeper into your physical body, into your energy bodies. And from that place, connect to your heart energy. Expand your heart energy to six feet in all directions. And you can do that with your visualization or your intent. This forms a sphere of heart energy all around you. Now connect this energy down to the heart of Mother Earth. And upwards through your higher chakras to Source. And this forms a tube of your own energy, your own energetic signature, called your pillar. And just breathe up and down this pillar a few times now and remain in an energy flow there. As we call on the support teams now for today's journey, we ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God presences, our guides, our ascension councils to merge in harmonious group consciousness with us and work together in harmonious group consciousness so that the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. We call on a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Ask for a temple of God Presence Communion to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Finally, calling on a temple of Divine Union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel how all these energy fields merge into one frequency around you. Now open your field, raise your frequency. And feel how you drop into a light meditative mode. And place your attention now in the Mother Gaia grounding temple. And have a seat there in a circle. And first of all, connect your heart energy to the crystal at the core of this space. And you may notice with your inner sight or with your imagination that this temple is like a very large underground cave. made of natural materials and crystals. And right at the core of this natural structure is a beautiful crystal, which is also connected to the ground here. And this crystal will look like a smoky quartz crystal. So connect your base chakra and your heart chakra energy to this crystal sending out energy from your heart and your base chakra to this crystal and receiving the energy back. And spend a few moments doing this now. Beautiful, and feel how this connection is strengthening for you now. As we're joined today by a very, very excited group of elementals. And the elementals are represented here through the fairies and the gnomes and the pixies. And they wish to take you on a journey in deep connection with your own nature today.
a fairy being steps forth and she starts explaining that as Gaia is raising in frequency and humanity is raising in frequency, it is more and more relevant to connect more deeply to all of what she represents. And this includes the mineral kingdoms and the plant kingdoms and the animal kingdom as well. And all of these dimensional frequencies are part of your journey as well here on Gaia as a spirit in a physical vessel. And so today's journey is a lot about connecting to those realms specifically. And she shares that the deeper your connection is with these realms, the more you own that they are a part of you and not separate to you, the deeper your connection will become to these realms and to Gaia herself, because these realms are part of the energetic makeup of Gaia herself. And what will happen is in the times where the frequencies are raising and raising and raising, and it's sometimes uncomfortable and a lot of energies come up to be shifted and transformed. The more you are connected to Gaia through the animal realm and the plant and mineral realms, the easier it will be for you to experience joy, love and harmony in your world, in your reality, the easier your manifestations will flow, the easier it will be to create the life that is guided through your higher self. And so to step away from a perspective where the animal kingdoms and the plant kingdoms and the mineral kingdoms are of lower frequency, they are of a more, they are of a more elementary dimensionality, not of lower frequency, she explains. It is a very different thing. And so all of it is part of you as well. And in the end, everything is one and everything is connected. So the journey today is about connecting to these realms so that it will enhance all of who you are on your journey here on Gaia, and it will assist you to live your mission, to be all that you can be, and to enjoy all the beautiful messages that nature has to offer you. Just imagine or remember back to the times where you felt deeply connected to nature, and this could be the ocean or a beautiful forest or simply a flower or an animal, one of your pets, anything like that, where you felt a deep connection to any of the realms, the mineral realms, the plant realms, or the animal realms. And this is because it is part of all of who you are and all of the universe. So today's journey will be in connection with your plant totem, and your animal totem. Very important to understand, she explains, is that you can and will have different totems on your journey. Your totems can change as well, simply as well as your guides can change. Often older guides that have been with you can shift to the background and new ones that have to teach you certain initiations or certain lessons will be there with you. And the same happens with totem animals and totem plants. Perhaps you've never considered having a totem plant. And this even goes to the mineral kingdom. But today's journey will be about the totem plant that is now specifically with you and the totem animal that is specifically guiding your journey. Now, some of you may have already connected to 
totem animals in this lifetime and you may already feel connected to certain animals specifically. Perhaps you love the bird energy or the wolf energy or perhaps you are specifically connected to the feline energy and all sorts of other options. Today's journey is about you connecting to the plant that is with you right here, right now and also with the animal that is here with you right here, right now. So gently feel yourself falling a little bit deeper into your heart as the elementals with you now that are deeply connected to you. They in fact are your soul family. They are now going to guide you on this journey in connection to your plant and in connection to your animal. So simply breathe up and down your energetic pillar a few times and notice how there are two elementals with you. You will have one to the left of you and one to the right of you. And this will highly likely be a fairy being, a gnome being or a pixie being. Tune into them now and they are going to take you specifically on your own journey. However, you will also be in connection with all of those present here today. So the first part of the journey will be about finding and connecting with your plant totem. So your two elementals are now going to be guiding you on nature pathways to find your specific plant totem. So take a few moments now and follow the path that these elementals are guiding you on and this path will lead to a variety of scenes for each and every one of you. It can lead deeper into inner earth caves, inner earth's beauty, it can lead to forest scenes, lake scenes, ocean scenes, mountain scenes, anything to do with nature and even things you have never ever seen in your reality before. Colors may be different, um, temperatures may be different, so be open to experiencing anything. And the plant that you are guided towards may or may not be a plant that you recognize from your earth reality. It may be a very new species to you, but you are now going to be going on a journey to connect to this plant totem. And this plant totem will have a specific match to your energetic signature and will have lessons for you. Open your consciousness up to not seeing this plant being as a lower frequency than you are. It is simply of a different dimensionality. So take yourself with these elementals on this journey now and find as a first step this plant totem. She shares that your plant totem can be very small and tiny like a four-leaf clover or a huge old tree like in the Amazon jungles or huge ancient forests. So be guided to what it is and you will get a sense whether you see it, feel it or simply know how your plant totem looks. When you get the idea of this, the visual of this, the knowing of this, connect deeply now to this one, for this being will have a message for you and perhaps a gift.
and spend some time together now. Perhaps you feel like connecting your energies more deeply. You feel like embracing this being. Or you just feel like sitting next to this one. The elementals will guide you what is in the highest for both of you. And as you connect to this one, connect your heart to your base chakras again, as you did with the smoky quartz crystal in the cave. And simply breathe up and down your energetic pillar to receive more of the essence and the wisdom of this one in your reality and connect more deeply so that this plant being can connect you more deeply to the plant dimensionality of Gaia, which connects you more fully to all of who you are energetically, which connects you more deeply to Gaia's heart, which assists you in all of your endeavors and all of you finding your joy, love and light on earth. So it is much more than simply connecting to a plant, she explains. It is in fact of vital energetic importance for you to have this connection open. And a portal to the plant realm, the plant dimensionality, the plant consciousness will be opened by you too now in this connection. So surrender into the opening of this now and you will find this will benefit you greatly in your daily life. And you may experience all sorts together. Perhaps you are transformed back to ancient lives or future lives or different timelines. Let yourself be guided now in this connection. And feel now how Mother Gaia, from her heart, blesses this beautiful and eternal connection between you yourself as a soul in this connection to this being of plant consciousness. Feel the blessing of this bond, the reopening and the reconnection more deeply to this now. And you will notice this in your daily life. It is like doorways and energetic pathways will have been opened to all of the plants, to the forest, to the grass, to the flowers, to everything in your daily life. And it will feel like it's drawing you more deeper into your grounding because it does. It is one of the dimensions of your energetic bodies. And very gently the elementals are saying now, Finish receiving your gifts and your messages from this other being, this plant being, your plant totem. And then we will gently move on. Beautiful and know that you can come back whenever you want in your consciousness, in your connection to this one, for there will be much to share together. Much more than this short reconnection can facilitate for you. So when you are guided, reconnect. And when you feel connected to the plant kingdom on earth, call in 
the consciousness of this one for yourself. It will be very beneficial for you both. Follow the elementals now. Thank your beautiful plant being, your totem plant now, and know that you will be connecting more and more deeply and again. And follow these elemental beings now on a journey to meeting your totem animal, one of your totem animals, the one that is most relevant to your journey in your here and now. And perhaps you already see this one or sense this one coming. Perhaps it is an old friend. Perhaps it is a new acquaintance, a new loved one in remembrance that again, the animals are not of lower frequency, but simply of a different consciousness. And yes, there is an evolving through mineral to plant to animal to human consciousness. Yes. However, uh, the frequency that these ones hold is very relevant for the fullness of the energetic bodies that are connected to your physical vessel on Gaia. They are all extensions of Gaia. So letting go of any pre preconceived concepts that they are of lower frequency and of lower relevance than you yourself are in human form, remembering that everything is consciousness. We are all one and the portals and doorways are being opened now to the animal kingdom. You will now get sight of your totem animal. If you had not gotten sight of this now, perhaps you will see this one traveling in a group because they do travel in group consciousness. If it is a group of animals, you see the one that is specifically your totem animal will turn to you or come towards you. Take yourself on this journey now as your elementals are with you and facilitate the communication and reconnection between you yourself and your totem animal. Breathe up and down your pillar to ground more deeply to Gaia as she assists you to open up this connection to connect your hearts and your base chakras together as well and reopens up this amazing, powerful connection that you have to your totem animal. There will be many messages shared. There will be gifts exchanged. Take your time with this now, she says. If there is any fear or any emotions of blockages, hand them over now to the elementals. They will transform them through the heart of Mother Earth, the heart of Gaia for you now. Simply understand that these are old energies where you have been disconnected, where you have moved through storylines and themes together. These are all old now. Reconnect in this moment or reconnect for the very, very first time. If this is a very new totem to your energetic field, all is in divine order. You are both in the right place at the right time. And this connection facilitates both of you in your evolution. Surrender now deeply to this very special being in your life, opening up and reconnecting you to this deeper grounding onto Gaia as she ascends, making your life so much easier, stabilizing your timeline, stabilizing your life, stabilizing your manifestation, stabilizing your happiness, stabilizing your frequency. Enjoy this connection now, for it is so much more, she explains, than simply seeing an animal in a vision. This is a deep reconnection to an energetic frequency that is of matching frequency to yours. And reconnect deeply now to this one. And while all of this is occurring for all of you, the elementals are extremely excited for they 
love facilitating the connections to the mineral plant and animal kingdoms with humans specifically souls in human bodies for this is a deep part of their mission often they connect in through insects and animals and plants to communicate to us they are like translators between the different dimensions and the different kingdoms and this is serving their mission greatly and they are deeply grateful to you for undertaking this journey notice now if there are any messages or gifts from your totem animal for you perhaps you are in a very different dimension together you have been transported to a different place or a different time and there are storylines unfolding that you now remember or future storylines unfolding your totem animal will now also have a message very relevant to your current life for you now for the current 3 next 3 to 6 months for your life you will receive information now which is of relevance vital relevance for your journey as gaia ascends this totem animal will share wisdom that you can only receive through the animal kingdom you may get an insight you may see an image you may receive a gift or an energetic transmission be open to all of those forms of energetic communication now a vortex of energy clockwise starts swirling around you both now through your energetic fields forming a deeper connection between you both simply surrender to this now as this connection is stabilized and also your plant totem is stabilized within this connection and the smoky quartz crystal from the cave is stabilized within this connection for you opening up these portals to these realms permanently now always giving you access to these realms now to clear signs to clear information to clear messages on your journey of ascension on your mission in your life facilitating you to be happier and a better version of who you are and this is timely for this was planned for your here and now breathe up and down your pillar as this whirlwind this energetic vortex becomes stronger and stronger and connect you more firmly to your grounding to earth for these realms the mineral kingdom the plant kingdom the earth kingdom uh, the animal kingdom are deeply deeply connected to gaia and are all part of your multidimensional energetic signature feel how all of your lower chakras are more fully ignited now how these portals are kept open for you and kept safe for you and clear for you by the elementals who are now assigned these two are assigned to you to assist you with this process as mother gaia ascends as you ascend these two elementals will be with you during this process now and you can always call on them and call on your plant totem and your animal totem if you need more insights about your life on earth and need to receive information or symbols from these realms now the angels and archangels are facilitating the sealing of this reconnection of these portals of these multidimensional reconnections with gold and silver and platinum and diamond energies different crystalline frequencies liquid light frequencies feel them move through your field now sealing everything up sealing these flexible connections to these ever changing realms now within your multidimensional field within your grounding within your pillar very gently breathe up and down your pillar now as you feel this starting to form a hole now and slow down and feel how this has changed you 
Come now back with your consciousness into the Mother Gaia grounding temple, focusing on exchanging your energy again with the smoky quartz crystal from your heart and your base, sending energy there and see how the connection to your totem animal is still open and to your plant totem is still open and they are here now with you whenever you want to call on them you may see them in your dreams you may receive messages from them in all sorts of ways through other people through images through your daily life in ways that only you will understand but they will assist you deeply over the next three to six months and will be with you on your journey. Deeply breathe down all of these energies into the heart of Mother Gaia to stabilize this and to permanently connect this into your grounding. Breathe up and down your pillar a few times and understand that these beings are here to always assist you. You simply need to open your consciousness up to them for any answers, insights, or symbols that you may need. We thank the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful elementals for their assistance today. We thank the fairies for their assistance as well. We thank the animals, the totem animals, the animal realms, the plant realms, the plant totems, and the mineral kingdom, Mother Gaia, the angels, archangels, ascended masters for their assistance today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it, it is done. Come fully back into your here and now, breathing up and down your pillar. Enjoy this beautiful connection, opening you up deeper to these realms, to the animals, the plants, and the minerals, and the crystals. And you will notice changes in your consciousness, in your daily reality. Thank you, many blessings.